Hello, Virgos. I hope you're doing well. This is a touch of tarot. This is your mid-August reading. Can't wait to see what's coming up for you. If you want to book a personal, all my info is below, okay? So we'll get an overall message, and then I'm going to be asking three questions. What's coming in, how it's going to affect you, and advice. Uh, you got a couple cards here, but I'm going to go with the happiness. I will say underneath is honesty and change. Um, you understand nothing can evolve without movement. And I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So I feel like you've been honest with yourself about a change that needs to happen. And here you are all happy, um, realizing that your happiness means that you're on the right path. Okay. So that's quite interesting. You're the only person group so far, um, you know, that's come out with so many cards. And I just want to say, I really feel like you were dealing with a really complex situation. I want to say integrated as well. Um, almost trapping. You see the energy there? Like, there's not much release. Um, you could have been at a job that you didn't want to work at with a whole bunch of other people. And then here with the change, I feel like those look like razor blades. So you're really slicing out of here. You know, you're coming out. You're, you're letting yourself go, and it's almost like you're being uh, swished down the drain, right? But you're happy, so that's what matters. Okay, very interesting. Okay, Virgo, let's see what else is coming up for you. One, I'm just going to grab three. Virgo, how is this going to benefit you is the next question here. And the advice. We take it? Yes, we take it. So let's see what's happening for you, Virgo. I am seeing the hermit at the bottom, which could mean that you've taken some time out. Um, just kind of letting the, the candle burn, possibly. Maybe you just disappeared, and you're not really going to say much, and you're just going to see what happens. I feel like there is something or someone you've left behind, um, some sort of a situation. Okay, so now what's coming in for you, Virgo, mid August. So we have healing, temperance. Sorry, my nose is getting itchy for you. That's, uh, it's annoying, but it does have like, it's significant. So um, yeah, healing, healing must be what's really needed here. I mean, it's not easy being honest with yourself sometimes. And I'll be honest, like, I'll be honest. Um, sometimes like, I don't know, sometimes you really have to dig within and be honest. And it can cause some pain or some tears where you're like, wow, like that's what I haven't wanted to admit, or that's what I haven't been wanting to face or say to myself even, you know, like it, it can happen and it restores balance. Okay. So I do feel you're walking away from some sort of a situation that your emotions were involved in. Um, you're come, becoming more grounded. You're seeing the light. There's growth happening here for sure. You have the happiness card here, which is like just a beautiful, successful energy overall anyways but let's clarify and see a little more about what's coming your way healing oh my gosh the readings have been so magnificent with the synchronicities that we know you know there's there's no coincidence here it happens for a reason there's true healing coming in for you i'm going to leave that out for you there could have been a situation you invested in and you kind of feel like you had to move yourself away from it um and also or you had to separate yourself from a situation. Look at, I wanted to just show you how these cards are coming out. And it looks like there's two. So this is actually the card coming out to clarify your healing. It is the tower. So it's almost as though something has happened. And this could have been uh, with a lover, with a childhood, um, more two energy here. But this is a six of cups. Um, with someone who you, from your past, someone who you loved. Maybe you had to walk away and heal something because it wasn't doing any good for you. Maybe you had to be really honest with yourself. This wasn't serving you. Um, this situation wasn't serving you, even though, you know, you're maybe past life lovers, um, past life connection. You had to walk away. You had to get out of your emotions. And you see, like here, you were kind of trying to make it work a little more than the other temperance, like your foot's in there. You're, you're pouring the water. You're giving and trying to keep everything balanced here you're just like i'm out and then it actually restored the balance virgo that's a heavy message like every other message that has come out if you feel free to watch the other messages because they're so amazing um and everyone has every sign in their chart okay so 
what will this, how will this benefit you? The Knight of Cups. So if some time has passed with you and this person, so this card flipped over right in my hands, Virgo. Wow. How will this benefit you? I don't know what I was about to say before that because your reading is so magnificent. You have the hermit here at the at bottom of the deck. What you didn't know is that you'd be coming out of hermit and literally it is showing up right now how this will benefit you. There will actually, um, and you know what I'm getting right now? The hermit energy could be someone you're dealing with, someone that walked away from this situation. And what I wanted to say I'm just remembering now is that there was, oh my gosh, I'm just seeing these cards here. There was um, space needed. I already got that message. There was space needed for things to clear because the dust has to settle, right? The Knight of Cups traditionally is about someone coming back with an apology. Um, interestingly enough, this person isn't on their horse. It's almost like it's going to be happening instantly. Like they're right outside of your door or they're in your city now and they're planning to surprise you. Um, and look at the bottom, we have this beautiful energy of the Nine of Pentacles. So you could just be doing your own thing and not knowing it. How is this going to benefit you? You're going to look at the Ace of Cups coming where I'm cutting. So you're going to be having someone come in to offer you love, apologies, um, forgiveness. And this could be the same person that was in Hermit or Hermited you. Um, and I want to show you this because it's quite amazing. So you have the Hermit card and the Two of Swords. And I feel like this is a person who made a choice to walk away from maybe even a Twin Flame connection with that string there, that red string that's, you know, symbolic of Twin Flames. Um, this could have happened at a new moon as well or right after a new moon. But look what else I see here is the Emperor and the Empress. So, I mean, they may look familiar to you. They don't have to. But I do feel... Um, that that's relevant, you know, and this could also be about Leo season, someone coming out this is in the present position too, if I was doing a three card spread traditionally. So let's see advice for this. We have the three of cups. This is about reunion. It's about really, um, I want to say tying the knot, but it's like really making a commitment and sticking to it. Wow. Look at what came out. So what has to end and the way that this came over here is whatever caused this to separate. That has to end. That is heavy. And what I feel is like the juggling has to end because I'm seeing the two of pentacles here. The in and out energy has to end with the king of wands. Um, this could really go any way. But really what's needed here is for a commitment and to stick to the commitment is what I'm getting here. Um, let's just get one more card because that was a lot. And look at, we have love. So committing to love. Wow. That is the ace of cups. That is heavy. Um, it's also kind of about, oh my gosh, I just cut it at the lovers. Leo. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I just said that. Sorry. Virgo. You know why? Because like this, uh, every reading, and Leo was my last reading, but every reading has been so significant and amazing. There is a love situation coming in, and it looks like it was after a really rough time. Okay, and there may have been some juggling, some money involved. That is unbelievable. So the advice is to enjoy this love that is coming in and to commit to it. These two people, and look at this energy, right? Like these two have their arms apart. These two have the arms together. There's someone, they're almost committing in front of someone, you know, they're almost making this very relevant, like very, very known. This could be happening in fall because this is total fall season. I'm seeing a big chunk of Swiss cheese. I don't know. It's a big block, I should say. Um, and a barrel of wine. Someone could be Italian. I don't know why that's coming to me. It's just like very natural Mediterranean, Italian, uh, or like just someone who likes to cook or appreciates natural foods. This is amazing. Let me get a word for you, Virgo, and see what's happening. Okay, so I don't want to like throw it, but I want to get the word. Oh my gosh, look what you got. See that? Fortune. 
fortune. Wow. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to take a big break now. This will be um, the last of the readings for today. But I will see some of you tomorrow, cross-watching. And if not, I'll see you maybe the next day. Thank you so much. Join my Patreon if you'd like to join us for the live Zoom meetings. Bye for now.